The Social Security Expansion Act aims to enhance financial assistance by $200 per month for individuals already receiving Social Security benefits or those who will turn 62 in 2023. Stimulus checks will be distributed to people with disabilities, low-income families, and senior citizens based on criteria established by each state government. The assistance is intended for households with an adjusted gross income. A GI of up to $75,000 for individuals, up to $150,000 for married couples filing jointly, and up to $112,500 for heads of household. Veterans, individuals aged 65 or older, and those already receiving social benefits don't need to take any action to receive the stimulus. Any family member with a social security number, SSN, can qualify for the fourth stimulus check. Even if parents are ineligible, their children could qualify if they possess an SSN provided both parents have ITINs. States that have approved additional aid. Arizona will provide annual support of $2,000 to people returning to the workforce following the COVID-19 pandemic. California will give one-time checks between $600 and $1,200 to people who earn less than $75,000 a year. Colorado will give $375 to people who have received unemployment payments within a certain period. Maine will pay $285 in disaster relief and announced $850 support checks to counter inflation. In Maryland, families or individuals who filed an earned income tax credit in 2019 will receive $500 and $300, respectively. Missouri will support mental health workers, nursing homes, and correctional facilities with $250. New Mexico will give a one-time $750 check to low-income groups who do not qualify for federal stimulus. New York will provide one-time support to people who have become unemployed as a result of the pandemic. The support will be between $3,200 and $15,600. Vermont will support frontline workers with $1,200, $2,000 through the Hazard Pay Grant Program.